Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel Planning and Teaching. Today is another Teacher Tuesday in my Happy Planner Teacher Edition. Um, if you have not seen my monthly spread, please go check that out. It's a link down in the description box and I'll also place a card here. So let's jump right in. So it is the month of October. So as you can see, here's my spread for the month. So I love that it's black and white. Now I do have these dashboard boards in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out because if you've watched my setup video, then you know that these dashboard, the short ones are in these are in here to separate the nine weeks. So we start a new nine weeks this week. Well, at the end of this week. And then this is in here just to house my stickers. And I'm going to put some glue down on them to kind of glue them um, down because they have been coming off. So anyway, let's see, we are on week nine. Go ahead and put that down we're on week nine and ten six ten five ten four ten three ten two i also have this video i'll show you how i made these um labels that fit perfectly up here at the top okay so my labels printed off alignment so there was a little bit of extra white space so I cut those just to make it nice and clean and make sure everything was colored like I like it it wasn't a creator error when I was making the labels it was a printer error so please follow the steps to the video that shows you how to create these labels and just make sure that you have them correctly placed in your printer in order to get them to print correctly. So let's get into planning. So the first thing that I know that is really going on this week, we have nine weeks testing um, going on. And they start on Wednesday. So let's see if I have a sticker in here that will work. I love the long stickers. I just wish we had some that were more than one that was blank and I don't think we do but I'm looking nope yeah we have this one that's blank but you know what that won't work because we are testing Wednesday and Thursday yes it will yes it will well let me look I'm just going to make a note for testing. So I'm going to grab my clear testing stickers. Don't ask me what book I pulled this out. If you know which book I pulled these stickers from, please let me know. So I have these important stickers. So I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to place another one here. Okay. And let's see. Am 
gonna put this important test that stripped down on Wednesday and the teal one down here. And I'm going to grab my blank card in this blue just to kind of keep with the theme that I have going so far. And I'm gonna put this here and this is going to be the makeups. Makeup test, okay? Okay. Actually, I really don't like the way that, oh no, 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 no. Well, I just ripped that. So let's see how I can fix it. Kind of mask that. I'm gonna grab this gold EA sticker and place it right on top of where that was messed up. Good. And then I'm going to. make a note using an icon sticker. I'm going to use this yellow. Kind of tie that in there. And I'm going to put makeup test. Makeup nine week test. Okay. So I have that done. So also on Friday, you know, school doesn't stop just because we have nine weeks testing going going. We also have a, another test on point of view, RI by point seven, I would, six. Okay. That's in reading. So, for reading, we are doing point of view, and we're using the reading writing workshop, and we're doing point of view on Tuesday using the reading writing workshop. Then we are doing point of view on Wednesday using the literature anthology. And we're going to do point of view again using the literature anthology. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab a clear narrative due date sticker and place it here. Well, a clear due date sticker. And I'm going to put narratives due on this day here. Um, if you haven't noticed, I really, I do not introduce a new skill on Mondays for language. I like to do my language introductions on Tuesdays just because, um, they have so many things that they're introduced to on Monday. Like, so I try to make sure that they have a room to process what they are doing for the week. So I'm just gonna give this a little pop of color and put 
put in some gold check marks. Alright, so in language, we're going to be talking about run-on sentences and fragments. We will do run-on sentences and fragments on Wednesday. We will do run-on and fragments, and we will do a quick check. And they won't be officially tested on it until I grade a writing assignment for them for next week. And then on Friday, work on narrative. So during grammar time on Friday, we'll be working on the narrative. Now on Mondays, I like to introduce something new to the component that we're working on in writing. So that's why I don't do language. So for writing, I'm going to pull in this yellow, just kind of bringing in, I like these colors that I'm working with, so I'm gonna try to keep up with that. So I'm writing on Monday, we're working on revising and editing. Tuesday, we are revising and editing. We are finishing our final drafts on Thursday. And then their final draft, it's due on Friday. Now I am gonna grab a clear homework sticker and place that down. So whatever they don't finish in class, they need to work on for homework because I only give them about 20 minutes on Friday to turn that in. I love this, I'm silently correcting your grammar sticker, so I'm gonna place that there. So that is my first part, my reading language and writing for the week. Let's talk about social studies. Now we are on, Week five for social studies, and we're doing a review and crossword on Monday. Then um, grabbing a due date sticker, trying to stick with the blues and the yellows. I'm gonna grab this blue one for Wednesday. Due date crossword puzzle. Um, even though they're testing on Wednesday, they still have a quick quiz. It's really a quiz because it's only like 12 questions. So on week five, then on Thursday, I'll be introducing week six. And we will cover article number one. And then we will cover article numbers two and three on Friday. So I'm gonna grab these teal check marks. And I'm gonna look in here and see if it has like a review sticker. Okay, so I got the homework assignment and due date stickers from my Fry Sweet Life student um, sticker book.
All right, I see something that I may use if I don't see one in here. So I'm going to just grab this gold book out of my Friday student sticker book and I'm going to lay it here and write review for quiz. All right. So for my reteach schedule this week, I am just going to be reviewing because we have a test here. So it's just going to be a review. It's just going to be a review. And then I'm going to grab this smile sticker along with um, and I'm pulling from my student sticker book, this Be Brave and Brilliant sticker. And I'm going to also grab this clear You Got This sticker to place on Friday. All right. And then for small groups, I'm going to meet with my low group. Number one, low group. Number two, on Monday, I'm gonna meet with my mid and my low number one. On my mid number one and my low number one again on Tuesday. And because we're gonna be testing the remainder portion of that week, I am going to use a sticker I'll do something a little bit different. I have this black, white, and um, I had this black and white base sticker that I pulled to you to use in my mini planner, my mini happy planner, and I ended up not using it after I layered a sticker on top. So, I'm going to cover my small groups with this sticker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay. And then I'm also going to cover these two days with this long weekend sticker. Because we have a break coming up. So... Next week, I have quite a few things going on. So I'm going to, of course, be going into my teacher Let me go in the green one and see. I'm going in my teacher sticker book. Um I love my check my clipboards, but I actually want something a little bit different. So I'm gonna pull this top five sticker and get it as close to on the line as possible. 
just to line up the top five things that I have going on. Um, and then I also want to put down an end of grading period sticker for Friday. I'm going to put it in between here. And I'm also going to put... This grade stew sticker right here because I have grade stew on Friday so my top five um, for the week we have conferences um, we have three-day weekend and we have a new unit those are my major things. And then we had um, a Monday meeting. And we have, what else do I have going on next week? Um, my new center setup will be going on. All right. And let's see. The only other thing that I want to place on here is just a couple of I'm going to go to the back where some of these stickers are and this the purple book doesn't have the same type of stickers as the pink one but I did pull out my seasonal sticker book. So let's see what we got going on for October. I'm going to put this little broomstick. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna put this little broomstick Over something. Alright, so I was going to put it over something, but then I just decided to kind of put it to the side. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit so I can lay the sticker down. And then lay it right on top of that. Alright, you guys. So here is my layout for this week. Um, please stay tuned because... Okay, you guys, this is my layout for this week. Stay tuned because I will definitely have next week's video coming very soon. Um, got a day off, so I will definitely have that up and posted on Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching this video. Keep God first in everything you do. Give it a thumbs up. Click that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos. And happy planning and teaching, you guys. Bye. Bye.